big overnight move in the broad market indices? Well, that's one question, but of course, another question is, is what is the current risk levels to your portfolio and trading? We'll attempt to answer in part both of those questions. Hello, this is Stephen Harrop, a head trader from Falcon Global, where we model best practices for investors, traders, and day traders from entry to exit every trading day. In this daily video, I provide my opinion and insights of current market trends, market timing, volatility, and hedge risk levels for the upcoming day for the key U.S. financial markets. It is 7.14 a.m. Central Time, and I'm recording this in preparation for the market day of March the 10th, 2015. Full disclaimers are at the end of the video, but be aware that this is for educational purposes only, and only you are responsible for the investing or trading decisions that you make. So let's dive in. Indeed, overnight action was significant, and we have definitely been on the move. You look, and um, the S&P down about 0.6 at the time of this cut. The Russell, almost 1%. The other two, NASDAQ and Dow, also down about 0.6%. So a pretty significant move down. Anytime you drop 13 points and the S&P futures and the overnight, that's a pretty significant move. Crude oil also down about the same, down 0.7. The euro, this is the biggest mover of the overnight in the markets that we follow, down right at one point. So uh, that is certainly making its move towards parity. You have bonds up 0.36% and gold a little bit up 0.17. Overseas markets, you have China down a half percent, Hong Kong down right at one percent, Japan down 0.67, and Europe as well down pretty stiff, down 0.68 for Germany and 0.86 for the United Kingdom. In terms of macroeconomic reports for today, really isn't anything to get excited about. One little old yellow report, we do have one orange flag report, the JOLTS job openings really nothing to speak of for tomorrow a little bit more activity we have a 10-year bond auction so if you are a bond trader you've got that to play with crude oil inventories also for you crude oil inventory um, crude oil traders and bank stress test will be released after the market tomorrow which um, the preliminary information I saw on that everything looked to be pretty good. Now obviously as they get more details there may be some individual components of the financial markets that could be moving. So kind of keep an eye on those things but so far this week macroeconomic reports have been relatively light. Obviously we've had um, you know more volatility in the last couple days though yesterday was mostly an inside day relatively quiet uh, short-term VIX 14.20 uh, historical IV percentiles you see still relatively low nothing here even approaching the midpoint in terms of standard deviation moves we did have a standard deviation move put in by the Dow yesterday so it's back to back in three of the last four and four of the last six days have had more than a standard deviation move in the Dow Let's take a look at our regular daily report. Uh, yesterday I had mentioned there were no rollovers this week for you futures traders. Actually the euro will be rolling over uh, at some point this week. I looked at the volume between the new and old contracts this morning and most of the volume is still on the old contracts. So you probably want to continue to trade there today but you need to start watching the volume and when you hit 50-50 uh, move your trading over to the new contract. Market trend intermediate term phase opinion still phase three. Yes, we've had some weakness in the markets lately, but we have not yet violated, um, you know, the primary intermediate term trends. We're still looking for higher highs and higher lows. Um, so you know, the question is, is this just something of a big, uh, something of a pullback? or does it turn into something bigger that's always the question when you get these pullbacks portfolio investor posture we do have uptrend under pressure and we do still have gmi index at five out of six active trader market posture this is a change has turned bearish we have dropped below the 80 threshold line so our posture for active traders has turned bearish so 
In terms of position sizing opinions, the first opinion for the investors, buy long side portfolio exposure can be up to 80% depending on your current positions are acting. And the opinion is to do not initiate new bullish positions until we get a turn in the posture. Active traders still, uh, our volatility based measure is still between 12 and 18 on the VIX. So it's still calling for a 75 to 100% of full position size. Market timing opinion, you have a slightly bullish one day outlook and a very bullish three day outlook and then still a slightly bullish two week outlook posture has changed we have seen this flip to bearish for the primary s p market and we are near crossover on the other three markets so calling for no new short or intermediate term bullish trades at this point um and um and to probably look for a bottom pattern and the form in the next few days and that's when you'll start to position yourself for new short-term or intermediate term bullish trades so kind of threading the needle at this point of the action hedge warning status remains the same as yesterday level one or yellow hitting those breaks um, you see in terms of volatility base we actually had several of these metrics that were red yesterday uh, came off yes uh, the volatility based measures that were flagged two days ago came off with yesterday's price action. So, um, you know, some mixed signals here. Obviously, we do have um, this recent lower low, but it's really within uh, a relative range. So, we're not really seeing yet an intermediate trend that is saying higher lower highs and lower lows so we're not really seeing a breakdown yet it's mostly just sideways pattern we've seen that really now for four months we had a three month sideways range a breakout above that and then next another uh, shorter range that seems to be going in the same direction so uh new highs new lows in the new york stock exchange also still continue to get red signals here we had 437 new lows yesterday uh, intermarket risk indicators still all showing risk on you could argue that these are basically neutral and that they are in sideways patterns but we certainly haven't rolled over and established a risk off setting yet no change in our option income strategies, our covered call strategies, or put selling opinions. VIX is still inside the acceptable window for option income strategies. Covered calls calling for an equal distribution between in the money and out of the money strikes. And put selling, we are actively looking for opportunities to put on new uh, core put sell positions against our core portfolio basket of stocks that we are willing to own. And let's drop down. Let's see what else we have in updates. Well, this is like a Christmas tree here. We've got all the colors going. But notice the primary thing is in the short and intermediate term, there is no green. So our market postures by sector, there's a lot of damage that has been done in the last couple days and then given the price action and overnight and where we're starting at least today, um, you know this is clearly not the postures that you're looking to initiate new short-term or bullish um, swing trades and so forth you really need to see a bottoming pattern come into play generally it was positive yesterday if you look at percent change industrials consumer discretionary and healthcare are leaders and then energy at the bottom energy continues to get hammered and those looking for a bottom in energy you're continuing to have trouble with that effort retail railroads internet healthcare and transportation and biotech still are top six industry groups so that should be the continued focus no change there as always greatly appreciate your liking us on your favorite uh, social media platform including the youtube channel for falcon global and email questions can go to support at falconglobaltraders.com. Additional information about our daily price guides product for day traders, as well as information on the three live trading rooms at falconglobaltraders.com. 
Disclaimers as always, hit the pause button so that you have enough time to review that at your leisure. And then of course, we greatly appreciate you each and every day in the Falcon Global Trading Community. Good trading and we'll see you tomorrow.